So, with my move out of that wonderful space up on Mount Tamalpais, there was a huge void left in my life. Elaine and her partner Tracy moved up to Gig Harbor, Washington, and I was left to fend for myself. And I don't mind saying that the shadows seemed large in my life. At times, it felt like I was being overtaken by forces that were bigger than me. But I kept putting one foot in front of the other, walking in faith that this was all happening with reason. And then something wonderful happened. Someone else entered my life. Her name was Jessie. Her name still is Jessie. And she is a free spirit. She's a music lover, a poet, a dog walker, and a seeker. And she kind of took me under her wing. She recognized my situation and just opened up her life in a very natural and inviting way, both of us recognizing that this was essentially a soul dance. And shortly after I created that first video, Walking Down the Beach, where I described my first and only date with Nancy McEwen, I posted it on YouTube and I sent a link to Jessie, wondering what she might think of it. That experience with Nancy McEwen changed me in a fundamental way. Until then, I'd just been a kid, kind of doing the things kids do. You know, I played sports, studied some, hung out with friends, and, you know, I was just kind of living the life of a Long Island, I don't know, Anyway, so shortly after that, and I'm going to pause for a moment here. <laughs> 